My name is Tom Kelly and I'm the Chief Sustainability Officer for the University of New Hampshire and also direct the University Office of Sustainability. At UNH, we're organizing everything we do as a university around sustainability. And we're doing that in order to provide a learning environment for the next generation of leaders, civic leaders and professional leaders. Sustainability is defined, probably the most common definition comes from the Brundtland Commission which said it's meeting the needs of present generations without sacrificing the ability of future generations to meet their needs. In a more specific way, we look at how do we sustain the integrity of four key systems that sustain us and future generations. There we're looking at the climate and energy system, biodiversity and ecosystems, our food system, and our cultural system. You don't want to cause new problems as you try to solve problems. And in a way, there, there actually is a, a kind of Yankee uh, common sense uh, dimension to sustainability that's quite important where you take a couple of steps back and you look at the way things are actually working and interacting and you say, you know, that I think there's a better way to do this that makes more sense. So it's, uh, it, it's really drawing on, on a lot of our New England heritage and uh, cultural outlook. At UNH, as I say, we're organizing everything we do as a university around sustainability. We're a small municipality of 12,000 students, uh, again, the largest transit provider in the state. Our dining services serve more than 65,000 meals a week between September and May. So if we can work out energy issues, food system issues, uh, ecosystem management issues, cultural issues as a community, they become transferable to communities around New England because we're, we're really a region of, of, of a few large cities but a lot, of, a lot of small communities. We're the first university in the country to drive, or we will be next year, the first university in the country to drive 85% of our energy needs from a renewable energy resource, which is a landfill methane gas. And that is a good accomplishment in and of itself, but the even better news is that that reduces our greenhouse gas emissions by 57 percent below 1990 levels. Landfill methane is a natural byproduct of the decomposition of the trash in the landfill. So the, we calculated here that if no more trash went into the Rochester landfill, there would be at least 20 years of methane uh, supply. But I think, as we all know, that uh, trash is not going away. So to be able to, to turn the management of trash into an energy source, again, is a practical way to move us towards sustainability. Well, we have the largest transit system in the state of New Hampshire right now. We're the largest transit provider in the state. A million riders last year. We've avoided 4.5 million vehicle miles traveled as a result of an integrated transportation demand management policy where we've got alternative fuel shuttles and buses, uh, a walking campus that's, that's pedestrian friendly but also bicycle friendly. And so we're solving very practical problems that make it easier to be mobile and have access to the university without everybody driving their own car. The uh, Slow Food International is uh, a movement that's now in over 80 countries, really looking to, um, to reanimate local and regional food systems. And the interesting thing about Slow Food is that it really takes as its point of departure taste. They're very concerned with the quality of food, first and foremost. And what they're really doing is following that commitment and, and, and love of uh, high quality food and flavor and taste. And that's leading them to value local agriculture and local producers because that, that local quality has unique aspects to it, unique soils, unique climate conditions, unique cultural traditions and food traditions and really trying to reanimate those and, and revivify a local and regional cuisine um, in a way that is sustainable for the farmer, for the restaurant owner, for 
uh, everybody involved in the food system, including the household at the household level and the customer. There's a lot at stake. There really is a lot at stake. And I think if we can draw from that New England spirit, the entrepreneurial, innovative, um, efficient uh, spirit, that we have what it takes to respond to this. We just need to really be working together to make sure it happens.